Oh, we forgot to close the door. Okay. Hi, everybody. Miss Megan here, and I am here with my helper today, Miss... Libby. Miss Libby. And so Miss Libby and I are going to read an alphabet book, and we're going to talk about Braille, and we're going to do some fun stuff. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, so the book we have today... What is it, Liberty? The Lion King ABCs. Lion King ABCs. And so any ABC book that you have laying around would work for this. And um, we just really love the Lion King right now at my house, right? All things Lion Guard and Lion King. And so when we open up this book, it has pictures A for antelope. B for baboon. So we're gonna start there. Antelope starts with a what? A. A. And what sound does A make? Ah. Ah. And so we can work on letter sounds if your student is ready for that. And B is for baboon. What sound does B make? B. 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 And so we can work on B letter sounds. But what I think is super fun. I just took a cup and I made my own giant braille cell. And so I'm gonna say, you know what, Libby, dot one, A for antelope. Okay. So we are gonna put a sticker in dot one. Boom. A for antelope. So we just made a letter A. We could do this different ways. We could color in the dot if the student has some functional vision. We could um, line the dot with puffy paint and we could take dabbers and fill in A. Um, we could make copies of this and make the whole alphabet separate on a different page. If your student has a briller and they're starting to use the briller buttons, um, they could make an A with help or without help, wherever your student is. So, if I wanted to make a B, I'm gonna make dots one and two. So you're so, gonna need a baboon. Baboon, B is for baboon. So, since um, Libby has vision, one, yep. Then it will be coming a cheetah next. Yep. And so B is dot one and dot two. Good job. Nice work, Libby. And so you could work on knowing what the dot is for that alphabet letter um, in a multitude of different ways, with low vision, with um, complete blindness, all of that. And just reinforce those um, dot number concepts and learning to count and all of that fun stuff. So we'll do one more. And that's the cheetah. Cheetah's your favorite, isn't it? So C cheetah. is for cheetah. Cheetah. What sound does a C make, Libby? <coughs> Good job. Should we tell him what's what's Libby's name start with? My name still starts with L. L. And so L is for lion. Lion. And what sound does L make? Uh, 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 uh. Good job. And I do like to use ABCs first and then the letter of their name because it's something that's very motivating. And so that's all we're gonna do today. But just give you some ideas of how to start introducing some of those braille dots. Can I put the cheetah in? Yes, but it's gonna be a different dot for C. It's dot one and four. So we would have to draw more dots. Okay? okay? okay. Awesome. I'm just gonna put the... Can you say bye to my friends? Bye, Bye what friends. Is this? What is this? It's called a dick dick. Dick dick. Yeah. It's like called a dick dick. What and then it? what's E? E is for elephant. Elephant. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Enjoy.